What's going on? Welcome back to another rendition of the Amanda and Rich Show. And today I'm going to be talking about how you guys can be more productive. So computers are definitely an integral part of our lives. We use them daily to get work done, to finish homework, to write essays. So they can be our friend or they can be our enemy sometimes in terms of productivity. So laptops are a big part of our lives as students or as um, professionals. And we use them to get work done, maybe write essays, do homework, study with. So I'll give you guys a scenario that I'm sure that has happened to all of us. Have you ever went on your laptop or computer and maybe wanted to get some work done such as write an essay or do some homework and you got sidetracked on for an hour or two on Facebook or some other website? So what I'm going to share with you today is an app that's going to help control that. So what the app is called is self-control and what it does is blocks those websites that you input and you're not going to be able to access those websites for an allotted amount of time. So the thing is you control the amount of time you don't want those websites to be accessible for. So if you don't want to go on Facebook or Amazon or whatever other website that you may choose to do so, um, you just put it on the blacklist and you set the amount of time you don't want to have access to that website. It could be as little as 15 minutes or it could be for as up to 24 hours. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do that's going to be able to undo the blocking of that website. So whether you restart your computer, close the program, those websites are going to be blocked. So this app is definitely going to help you be more productive and get more work done because those websites that you have a tendency to go to and waste time on are not going to be accessible. And once you see that that website's blocked, you're going to remind yourself, oh, I should be doing something else instead of going on Facebook or Amazon or doing some online shopping or whatever. All right, so to get self-control, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to your uh, browser. Um, in this case, it's Safari for me. You can just type in self-control into Google and I'll bring you right to it. Um, it is a free download. It's available for Mac and PC. So it's a very small file. All you have to do is click on the download button. It comes up right here. Drag that to your desktop. Open it. Run it. Um, and then all you have to do is go on to the self-control app. Um, and here from here, you can edit the time you want. Um, self-control to be active and you can edit your blacklist. So if we move on to editing our blacklist from here um, we can enter in a website that we want to be blocked. So we would type in if we wanted to block let's say Amazon.com you type in www.amazon.com um, and if you wanted to block another website you would just click on the plus button and if you want to take away one you can just click on the minus button. So we're going to go back to Amazon, www.amazon.com, um, exit out of this, and let's say we just want to block it for 15 minutes. So you can block it for as little as 15 minutes or up to a whole entire day. Um, but we're going to just do 15 minutes for a demonstration. So all I have to do is click start. Um, if you're a Mac user, you just have to enter in your um, password for your computer if that's in your settings. Um, and as you can see, there's now a timer that's displayed that's going to count down until when you're able to access that web page. So if we test this out, um, Amazon.com, we could see that it is no longer we're no longer able to access the website. Um, but we are able to access pretty much the rest of the internet. Um, it's just that one website and everything um, about it is blocked. So even if we X out self-control, um, and as you can see, it's no longer in the sidebar, or even if we restart our browser and try to go back to Amazon.com, it's still blocked. So the only way for it to be unblocked at this point is to wait for that timer to run out. Um, while it's in the timer mode, you can add things to the blacklist but you cannot take away things so if there's another website you wanted to add you can add it here but you cannot take away a website while the timer is active so some things that are great about this app is that it's a it's very easy to use and b it's free it just has one purpose and it does that purpose very well so if you like this video definitely hit the thumbs up button um, if you want to see more of this type of content uh, subscribe and definitely leave a comment below and let me know what you liked or disliked about it um, we're definitely going to be doing a uh, future series about um, ways to be more productive. So I definitely appreciate your time and thanks for watching.